Okay, this is 7.1 angles of polygons. Essential questions are what is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a polygon and what's the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a polygon. Are you expected to be able to use the interior and exterior angles, angle measures of polygons to solve different problems? A diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. Next vocabulary word in an equilateral polygon, all sides are congruent. In an equiangular polygon, all angles in the interior of the polygon are congruent. Now, a regular polygon is when uh, it has to be a convex polygon, but it means that it's also it's both equilateral and equiangular. The polygon interior angles theorem uh, is, says that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex and gon is n minus 2 times 180. Now the, uh, this right here, the n gon, that just stands for any polygon with whatever number of sides. n stands for the number of sides. And so on this drawing that I made, um, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different angles, or 6 different sides. So the formula says that I have to take that number of sides, the sexagon, 6 minus 2, and then I would multiply that by 180 to get uh, the sum of the angle measures. Okay. Now, the reason why we do this, or why we get this formula, is because we know that the sum of the measures of a triangle, I just have a triangle, which is the smallest kind of polygon, that uh, sum is 180 degrees. Right, so what happens is if I take this a point anywhere on this polygon and I draw a line to all the non-adjacent sides, okay, I end up getting one, two, three, four smaller triangles. So this six minus two, that's where that comes from. If I take two away from six, I get that there's four times 180, because each of these triangles would add up to 180 degrees. Okay. okay, next we have a corollary, and that simply says that the sum of the interior measures of a quadrilateral is 360. So I can take any four-sided shape, okay, and the sum of those is going to be 360. Now again, I can take a vertex, any of these vertices, and if I connect the non-adjacent uh, vertex or vertices, in this case there's only one that's non-adjacent, I get two triangles. So the 180 plus 180 is 360. Or if we wanted to use the formula, the n minus 2 times 180, that still comes out to 2 times 180, which is 360. On this one, we want to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of an octagon. Now, an octagon is an eight-sided shape, so my formula, n minus 2 times 180. Okay, since it's an octagon, I'm going to substitute 8. So we would have 8 minus 2 times 180, which is 6 times 180, which comes out to be 1,080 degrees. Okay. Here we want to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a 15 gon or 15 sided shape. So again, we're going to use the n minus 2 times 180. Now we're going to substitute 15. That's 15 minus 2 times 180, which is 13 times 180, which comes out to be uh, 2340 or 2340 degrees. Right. This problem says that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is given. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. So this 900 degrees is the sum total of all the angles inside the shape. We have to figure out what kind of shape it is. So we're still going to use the n minus 2 times 180. But this time they gave us the 900. And 900 stands for the sum of this. So that formula, then minus 2 times 180 is equal to 900 in this case. Now we want to solve for n. So since this is times, I want to do the opposite. So I'm going to divide by 180. This factors to 1. I'm left with n minus 2, 
which is equal to 900 divided by 180, which is 5. Okay. Now I can drop the parentheses because I got rid of this multiplication here, and there's nothing left outside the parentheses. Um, but I do want to solve for n still, so I need to add 2 to both sides. It tells me that um, n is equal to 7. Okay. So since it's got 7 sides, we know that the shape is a heptagon. Uh, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is given. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. So on this one again, this uh, 1,620 is the sum of all the angles. We want to go backwards and find the number of sides. So I'm going to take that n minus 2 times 180. And I'm going to set it equal to the 1620. Okay. Again, I'm going to divide by 180. And I get that n minus 2 is equal to 9. If I add 2 to both sides, that's going to be n is equal to 11. Okay. So this would be called an un decagon. It would be one way to say it for an 11 sided shape. Okay, on this example, they want us to find basically the missing angle. Um, so um, this happens to be quadrilateral. But if it were some other shape, the idea of it still would work. You need to find the, the sum of the interior angles, which in this case, or the formula would be the n minus 2 times 180. And you would substitute in the number of sides. In this case, it's 4 times 180. So this is going to be 360. So I know that all of these angles inside have to add up to 360. So I'm going to do 45 plus... 95 plus 65 plus x have to equal 360. Okay, 45 and 95 would make 140, uh, plus 65 would be 205. Subtract the 205, that makes x going to be equal to. 155 degrees. All right, this problem tells us to find the measure of each anterior angle of a regular pentagon. Now remember, any regular polygon, that means all the sides are the same and all the angles are the same. So um, what we do, there's a formula for this. We, what we would do is we would do the n minus 2 times 180, because that represents the sum of all the angles. Now because it's a regular polygon and I know all the angles are the same, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the n minus 2 times 180, and I'm going to divide by n. Okay, so this one would work. This formula here works for any type of regular polygon. In this case, we're looking at a pentagon. So for my formula, I'm going to use 5 minus 2 times 180, and I want to divide by 5. All right, so this becomes uh, 3 times 180 divided by 5 ends up being 108. So each angle is 108 degrees. This problem says find, we want to find the number of sides of the regular polygon so that each interior angle has a measure of 156 degrees. Okay. So they told us what each inside angle was. We have to go backwards to find out the number of sides. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and use the formula that we just did, the n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. Because that tells us what each angle is um, in general terms if we know the number of sides. So we're going to have to work backwards on this because I gave you each interior angle. So we want to set that equal to 156. Okay, and then to solve this, we multiply both sides by n. Okay, that factors to 1. n minus 2 times 180 is equal to 156n. We want to distribute the 180 to both of these to get rid of the parentheses. So we get 180n minus 360 is equal to 156n. Okay. We want to subtract 180 from both sides. That gives us that negative 360 is equal to negative 24n. And if I divide both sides by negative 24, that tells us that n, the number of sides, is actually going to be 15.
Okay, next we have a theorem that says polygon exterior angles theorem. It simply says that the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is 360 degrees. So it doesn't matter what shape the polygon is. So what I'm going to do to kind of show you this is I'm going to draw a pentagon. Okay. Now exterior angles, what that means is that you extend each side. So if I take this side and I extend it out, that creates an outside angle here. Now I can do that for each of these to create an angle here. Go all the way around. Okay. That creates five exterior angles. Now it doesn't matter what shape this is, it could be a hexagon, it could be a octagon, any po convex polygon. The sum of all of these is always going to be 360 degrees. Right, for this example, we want to find the value of x. Looking at the diagram, uh, notice that these angles that are given to me are all exterior angles. And I know from the, the theorem that all the sum of all exterior angles is 360 degrees. So that's how we're going to solve this. I'm going to add these angles together. 4x plus 98 plus x plus 162 has to be equal to 360. Combined like terms gets me 5x plus uh, 260 is equal to 360. Subtract 260 from both sides. Goes to zero. That leaves me 5x is equal to 100. Divide by 5 tells me that x comes out to be 20.